Hello. Subscribers, viewers, friends of the channel, bus drivers, lorry drivers, taximen, tradesmen, children, men, women, all of yours, hello. Good day to you. It is Wednesday, the 2nd of February. It is five past nine in the morning. We've had a quick 15 minute break. We're into the flow of things now. Uh, so yeah, hook a right, turning left into there, and we shall continue our work. The back end has cleared the front of that vehicle. Let this geezer go. Let's go. So mining that curb, hang the lock and take the offside lane. Turning left, because this car's parked too close to junction. Good Lord. All right. So see if we can avoid the curb. No, we're gonna have to nibble the curb. Mind the motor. Beacons on, let us go. So, <clears throat> four man team today. So hang it wide. Again, gonna have to grab this pavement because the car's parked too close to junction, a bit more. Not mugging him off. I need to get the vehicle straight in anticipation of what's gonna happen next. There we go. So, handbrake neutral, at we get, beacons on, lifts on. Same vehicles yesterday. Oh, you let me down. been left for me so same vehicles yesterday we have a uh, fourth man today which will greatly impact the uh, oh, finish time cool cool so yeah cardboard again uh, a different area of Chelmsford of course a lot of hills a lot of windy bits there's nothing we can't deal with. So that is why mirrors are crucial. Got parking sensors, but no shoulder check, nothing. Just totally clueless. I'm glad I got that on camera. Um, yeah, quite incredible. Again, no acknowledgement, no apology. That's right, just nearly run down a human being. It's not as if he ain't got enough driveway space, but couldn't be bothered to check. Oh. Christ almighty, <laughs> blower comes with me. Um, Jesus, no, she reversed back and nearly hit matey. Oh my. Didn't, not mirrors, nothing. Parking sense as well, not listening. Do you want the second one, my guy? Is it in your way? Is what in my way? Is it? Is it? No, do you want it? No, I normally, it's, I normally go, today I'm gonna use it. You want one, you may have one. Not at all. So. Cool, cool. Yes. So, three loaders, myself. So, two bins. Two bins, he only wants one bin, but there is a second one if he wants it, so that'll be my bin. So what I'll do is I'll overshoot stuff. Um, I'll shoot ahead do stuff in the lorry whilst they're loading up their bins and what have you. They can bring theirs up. So, I think his is slightly full, so. We'll let him do his thing. Wait for the young fella, maybe he might have some as well and he'll bung some on. So, card today. Um, yesterday's load. Uh, start about seven, five past seven. Last bin went on about half three. That was a long day, exhausting. Um, what it looked like kitchen renovations and bathrooms what have you because it was a lot of big boxes of tiles and um furniture outside people's driveways again you do as much as you can in a sack but the rest of it just gets dumped on the floor so they can only do what they can um it's yeah dude enough that it's worth emptying 
you want to join you? Yeah, I'll join him. Yeah. Um, so yeah, long day, long. Wow. Right, I'm in cross first. Uh, we'll grow forward a bit, grab a bit of a uh, bit more road to work with, a bit of pavement as well. There we go. So reverse, put the lock on. Do, 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 do. So yes, new subscribers and old friends of the channel. Nah, you won't. Uh, this is the format. Uh, I, you just excuse me yesterday, it looks like it went into 24 frames versus the 60 you're viewing this in. Um, so it will be a bit zoomy compared to yesterday's more cinematic look. I do apologise. Uh, cool, cool, cool. Anything worth having? I imagine the gadgets aren't in it. Uh, you get, you get, as you can get like the install, you can get not, not, not brand, brand. No, 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 no. At home, though, like my last one, like was, uh, I've had a, a few gaming, uh, Republic of Gamers, you know, uh, Asus, uh, uh, laptops, gaming laptops. The proper, proper Working? Yeah. Wow. I mean, it's not a screen, but I've oh, yeah, yeah. It. So, uh, now the latest one, the normal, the ice cream set, 10th generation, uh, ice cream processor. Uh, the USSDs on it, only 14 inch, you know, like those. It's an old TV, but still, it's more computer than you had before. Yeah, yeah take that one, dude. Cool, cool, cool. Well, thank you very much. That many? Bloody hell, see? That's why you should talk to all your people that you meet in your life. Waiters in the restaurant, people in the supermarket, because they've all got interesting stories and they've been places. They're not just bland robot. They are, they're not just misspoke there they are not robots they're not your underlings they are people too look four languages i can barely speak the one this one correctly so what was i saying before 24 frames versus 60. um i tried to do a pov night drive of a car the audi a6 i had a couple weeks ago but even when i was adjusting the iso around and all that and changing frame rates so for instance one of the things i read was the shutter rate should be twice the frame rate. So 148 shutter to 124 frame. But uh, no, it was just too blanched with color. <laughs> so uh, unfortunately I didn't do a proper reset standard. And as a result, yesterday's was in uh, 24 frames. So hopefully this looks a bit better. Why have you left shoulder, young man? Hey. Understood. Daniel? Yep. Reason why this vehicle's so clean, as I remarked in yesterday's video, cardboard isn't messy. Black bin and brown bin lorries, this glass, well, perspective plastic would be uh, opaque and you would not see what was going on now. Or they're scratched to buggery. Good. But, um, yeah, cardboard's clean, but just so much of it it's a very physical activity come on there we go jesus Astra. There we go, wrap the lock on, avoid this curb. There we go, look, look at that. Boom. So, 
vehicle, so we'll overshoot a bit. Their bins are largely empty, so we'll stop about this hedge. So buses get past, this car can get past, they can work it out, the indicator is on. Totally clueless, come on. Um, yeah, that, I deem enough room for buses and what have you. So I'll quickly dump some stuff in bins, boxes, bags, whatever. Turn the auto off, so I don't want to go in for a ride in the back of the thing. Turn the auto back on. Get these out of the way. Get them out of the way. I'll collect them in a second. See what I mean? They're um, used to drive them. Not bad motors then once, the old uh, Dennis Darts, Plaxton Pointers I think they're called, long wheelbase. Yeah, they drive all right. Oh Christ, that could have gone better. I can sense a car behind me. There we are. Good. Check the hopper ahead. What have you gained? Nothing. Nothing. But yeah, you yeah, then Plaxton pointers. Uh, I think they're a four-cylinder diesel, six, seven liters. Uh, Cummins engines. I could be wrong. Uh, manufactured by Alexander Dennis, I believe, of Yorkshire. Um, pretty sure they had a four-speed auto. Yep. Yeah, four-speed auto. So it's reverse neutral drive. Uh, Voith or Morse controls depending on which, how old the one you was driving. Most ones are gaff were, uh, ooh, <laughs> got me now. Cause we did mostly fleet numbers, we didn't do registrations. Uh, I think they were like 54 plates, 2005s. And bear in mind this was like 2014 to 2019 I drove there. So they were relatively old. Um, yeah, they were right motors. Cockroaches, they'd always get you there. Cool, cool, cool. Is that in between? No. <laughs> Not enough. Jesus, these curb signs aren't up to much. But I mean, then pointers are very comfortable to drive, smooth, buttons. Buttons did what you want when you wanted them to. Whereas the new Enviro 200s that we started getting in, I'm trying to remember the reg of the version now. Oh, the fleet numbers were 44500. Whereas the old pointers were like 42s and uh, 400, 41, so 41731. 42485, a very reliable vehicle. Get given it. Driver, do not turn it off when you get to your destination. Well, I need to. Well, you can't. Okay then. Get to my terminus, I've got 20, 30 minutes. Boom. Immediately the engine goes off. I'm going for a toilet. Passengers, take the seat if you want. I'll be back shortly. Get back. <coughs> Nothing. Bus is dead. Rung up supervisor. Don't start. Well, why'd you turn it off? I said, well, why the hell would you give me a vehicle that I cannot turn off? If it can't turn off, then it shouldn't be on the road. What if there was an accident or some sort of spillage or something? I'd have to turn the vehicle off. Oh, me, yeah, um, them Enviro 200s. It's a 44545, 44900, all that kind of thing. I can't remember the year of them. I think they were six, 63 plates, that's it. Yeah, Jeez. I'll give you a hand. It's pretty heavy, you know. Maybe it's wet. I'll lower that one down for a second, sort of thing. Sure thing. Yeah. What languages do you speak? Fluently. Fluently. So it's my native Lithuanian. Okay. Uh, Russian. Wow. Uh, I've, learned, I've learned Polish in here. If I had to, the majority of them don't speak in, in, in English, you know? Well, it's a universal language, isn't it? Tourism. Well, now. Uh, Two foreigners from different continents in a country. Used to be. They'll talk English. Yeah. Used to be. I used to speak like a. Pretty, like, no, uh, I'd say average German, 
Okay. My mum, my mum, my mum. Yeah, my mum was a German citizen. So I mean, like, until she passed away. Sorry to hear that. Four languages fluently. Blimey. Impressive. So if you didn't hear that, it was German, uh, no, sorry, Russian, Latvian, English, Polish, I believe he said. Again, you can watch the footage back, it's only a few seconds ago. So yeah, buses, 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 buses. Yeah, these were 63 plates. So these were 2013, 2014 vehicles back in 2014, 15, 16, 17, 19. Uh, they were very, they were good acceleration from a standstill, but mid gear torque, nothing. The gearbox always wanted to hold onto highest gear, would not downshift for you. Um, so overtaking a cyclist who was, all, if you were both in motion, you met each other on the same road, overtaking a cyclist was quite the ordeal. Um, and then she slowed the vehicle down and angrily stamped on the throttle because I didn't have, I'm pretty sure they didn't have kick down. It was just from top pedal to the bottom of the floor, it had the same level of pressure. There was no click down auto box uh, downshifting. So the Enviro 200s, a lot of noise, really loud, buzzy. The cab was crashy, all the glass surf, nothing fit perfectly. So the crash and the banging was tremendous. And especially on the uh, there we go, country lane routes or indeed the long distance work. So in a, in a, in a urban areas, yeah, yeah, good enough, serviceable. But when you did like the routes that took like an hour and 20 minutes on a single decker, bang, 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 bang. Oh, Jesus, the noise would get overwhelming. You'd have to get out the end just to try and push your earwax back in. It's been shaken out. Um, whereas the pointers, I was always pleased to get a pointer. So they drove nice. Bra brakes, throttle, steering, door buttons. Door buttons was basically, I know it's extremely obvious, open and close. But you could open and close them whenever you want. Whereas all the other vehicles, handbrake, I uh, don't think you had to have neutral on. I think they would let you do it in gear, but you shouldn't be boarding passengers in gear anyway. Naughty. So if that goes wrong, a lot of injuries. But um, yeah, them pointers, I like them. I miss driving them. Good motor. Uh, they had Volvo B7s as well, the single deckers, the right eclipse bodies. Um, yeah, they were... 2005 reg vehicles so their fleet numbers were like 66 uh 719 66 808 66 802 66 what was it there was one that could do well <laughs> someone sent me a photograph of a speedo very naughty of it doing a 75 80 818 that's it 66 818 not only did it have ferocious acceleration i have my one man Yeah, not only that ferocious acceleration, but it had good top speed as well. There we go. Good. Um, yeah, Volvo B7s. A lot of swing. You'd have to like drive at someone's house and then yawn around a corner. And the rear end swung out a bit, but they were okay when they worked. Oh. Talk to the viewers. Yeah. Buses. Yeah. Whoa. That's why you got to check, check, check. Yeah, I'm here. Okay, what we're going to do is turn around and then go back that way. Understood. Turning right at that end. Yeah, just. Yeah. Alright. At that end, go down. Cool. Yeah, we also, uh, for a brief period, had a Scania Omni, Omni Link, Omni Cities, six five zero twenty eight, six five zero twenty nine, three one three two. Mind your head, please. Yeah, them Scania's are wicked. Fabulously comfortable to drive. Uh, like a, I don't know, it's, it's like a computer chair that doesn't rotate. But it's a very comfortable seat. Brakes were quite severe though, so you had to like blow on them rather than use your feet. And you certainly didn't want to do an emergency stop on them because it put you through the windscreen. Um, we all good? Cool, cool, cool. 
I think they were scammed. Hmm. I really can't remember. If anyone knows what happened to the first Essex Scanyas, uh, fleet, I say 65028 through to 032. Excuse me. Yeah, they were good motors. Um, full leather interior. Very comfortable passengers, comfortable for me. Not rapid, but they had a good surge of acceleration. So once you put the foot down, to get you up to like say 30, 40, all dual carriageway speeds, it did have like a com confident surge. Uh, pretty sure, oh, no, no, I might be misspeaking again. I think they used the straight sixes that were found in like the old um, 240 and 260 Scania's, like the 90, P94D and the early uh, 112s, no. It's the, it's the rigid equivalent of a 124. This is about the early 2000s, L94 engine, I think they're called. Um, yeah, good gruff sound, wicked air horns. The only air horns that every other horn was like a beep, whereas they were like, Bwah! in would vibrate glass in a half mile radius, loud. Yes. Onwards. these two man. You have these two. Got it. Uh, we also had Optair Solos, thank we got rid of them. Awful hateful machines. Uh, pretty sure they're based on a Mercedes chassis, maybe using the um, Mercedes Atigo slash uh, 814 engine it had a distinctive four cylinder grumble. I think that Mercedes engine is it like a four and a half litre straight six? Mercedes Vario 814, Atigo, little, little Merc trucks. Hang on, I've just got to clear this first. Look how much I have to mount the pavement because it's full. So I can't get around the corner that in the way. Um, yeah, them Octair solos, Jesus. They were the only wheels forward bus that in the fleet in that the wheels were in front of the doors so you couldn't get the same swing on bends as you would in any other vehicle whereby you sit forward of the wheels so for instance take this vehicle i'm sitting in front of the wheels up there the wheels were on the corners like a, a, a shit go-kart so as a result even getting into bus stops little labor ones woo, on a uh, carriageway or what have you you couldn't get the swing so you'd have a jolt the vehicle that's probably not conveyed through the camera but like it would shake the vehicle <laughs> or you'd have to full-on mount the pavement it, it looks stupid um it, it is dangerous i'd say it damages suspension the, the tires it's un very uncomfortable for the passengers and uh oh they were hateful vehicles drive definitely slow as well i had a lot of reliability problems with them broke down a lot in them vehicles but they were cockroaches when they weren't breaking down They'd work, you could, over, you could overheat them. But eight, eee, overheating buzzer going off for tw 15, 20 minutes. Got to get home, got to get home, got to get this truck bus back. Eee. But very uncomfortable. Um, 
these were like 53 plate vehicles. I mean, there's a couple of 51s, 5 free, uh, 128 through to like 5 free 200s. But we, I think at peak, when I was there, I think we had, I don't know, 14, 18 Optairs. So Optair Solo, a big swoopy windscreen and the four headlights. Oh, hateful vehicle. Whenever I see people driving around, it's actually, in fairness, throughout the UK, they're not in widespread use now. It seems the Alexander Dennis Enviros are taken over. But them Optair Solos, you, you, <laughs> car drives past, poor bastard. Like, what a hateful place to spend a whole day to do work. Awful things. Uh, a local depot Braintree shut down in the mid 20 teens. I don't know why the outstations closed. I think there was one in Clapton or Brightling Sea. That shut as well. So we inherited their work, which was the 70. About an hour and 40 minute journey, hour and 50 minutes from Chelmsford to Colchester. And we had double deckers, uh, Volvo B7. There's a, there's a three letter acronym that follows. It's a two headlight design, like just two sealed beam units with a dipped and full beam. Uh, I think they're right bodies of Ireland. Ireland. I'm sure there was a, a three letter suffix. It was like a Volvo B7 something something something, which RFL or RTL? I think it was like to basically say it was a low entry floor. So it's disabled accessible. Come on. Be there, them deckers. Good lord. There was a, a mixed bag. Some were beautiful, some were filth. Belching smoke, misfiring, uh, dodgy gearboxes, shonky brakes, and they all one thing they universally had a problem with leaky windscreens. If it rained, or if it was wind, if it rained the night before, if it was early morning winters, there'd be an inch of water in this channel here. All of them had it, and you could hear it sl <laughs> when you <laughs> go around beds, you could hear it sloshing like a um, lava lamp, and you'd see it like making little waves. All double deckers did that, I don't know why. Uh, so we had the hybrids, I think our garage was chosen as like, yep, our garage was chosen as a trial location. So we had, <coughs> excuse me, Alexander Dennett's ALX 350 HD's hybrid drive. So it's like a 200, very long vehicle. I'm pretty sure it's like 10, 11 meters long. Like us all with that, there's three of them back there. It's cooks and broth. Yeah, so very long wheelbase. And I think it was a four-cylinder diesel driving a generator. So it was a hybrid drive. And this vehicle would have been registered in like... Try to, that, those were six, seven. So there was only four in the fleet. And I think it was one of like... We're talking like 10, 20 vehicles ever made. Um, six, seven, nine, oh, 901, two, three, and four. And I'm sure at the time of my employment, there was one vehicle that had about 10,000 miles less than all the others. Such was the amount of problems they had and how often it was off the road. Um, I think they're getting in now, so they can be chucking stuff in the back of the motor. So, um, yeah, so ALX 350 HDs, 0 to 30 mile an hour, banging. If you had to touch them brakes under 30 mile an hour, very harsh. Uh, the brakes overall were like, ooh, they were very jittery. But they only, they, I think they only did 45 mile an hour or 50. I think it was 45 mile an hour. So when you got given it on like a main route, like a, a route that was over an hour long, country lanes and dual carriageway. Oh no, not one of them. Ferocious, again, much like the LX 200s, ferociously uncomfortable as well. Yo. Oh, yo. <sighs> I put thing in the back yesterday. Yeah. It, it went. Uh, Left or right? Left or then. Certainly. Yeah, but lucky enough, we bang. So you got a mind of your own, mate. What do you mean? Fucking pissing me off, man. Fucking asking like the other shit. I am, but I don't know where you want to go next. I, I'm in. I'm uh, independent. Hold, hold right. Seven. You're not taking it fucking seriously, then. Are you? <laughs> Crush and I shall speak to your supervisor. I shall write to my MP. Oh, yeah, report me. Me. Report me. Bullying behaviour. Yeah, I was harassing on camera. Yeah, it's on camera. Oh, oh, I'll get my subs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You Go on the man. dark yeah. web, get you your address. No evidence, man. You're not going to prove it to me. Yeah, that's <laughs> fucking it. <laughs> Start downhill. At the bottom, we're doing a right, Daniel. Yes. Yeah. I hate that fucking name. My name's Daniel. Oh, I fucking hate that fucking name. Well, it's 
says on the ball, Daniel, so I've been calling you Daniel. What did you want to say? Dan? Dan. Oh, yeah. sorry. Where are you? I know you as Dan. I know you are so this is It's okay, Daniel. Cool, cool. Unless you don't want to. Well, don't talk to Daniel. I'll fucking hate Daniel. Daniel, shut up. People normally talk at me. <laughs> so if I use my direction, I can generally hear it's being addressed to me. I don't get names. We are doing a left here, driving. Oh, the toe's a bit better now. Top of the yeah. yeah. So if I knock it, it um, right. we start here, we will be doing a right. Certainly. Yeah, we need to grab the bastards. Yeah. That's all right. Sometimes they help huh. Um. And also they had another set of vehicles. These would have been on 18, 19 plates. These were like new Alexander Dennis's. Um, they look like Dame, Ed if some of you remember the character, Dame Edmer Everidge, like glasses that go to a point in the corner. So it starts down here, whoop. There's only black trim pl plastics and then the rest of us is normal. Those vehicles are terrible. Um, they might be like the new 200s, I'm not sure, but them the brakes and the gearbox retarder on them are amongst the worst i've ever driven in all my buses and trucks and cars i've driven the brakes on them are terrifying first few weeks many drivers reporting issues like you're going to a stop you can hear it work it goes Ooh, like oi, oi. foot hard on there we go yeah um, you'd be pressed so for instance say a bus stop was where this second car is so i turn into this junction and lightly accelerate to keep the vehicle moving. And you press the brakes lightly and you hear it going, woo, woo, and it wouldn't be slowing down enough. The retarder, in conjunction with the service brake, wasn't strong enough. So you'd be like, Christ, and I've overshot bus stops the first couple of weeks we had them. Like, you press the brakes and I'm, Ugh. my arms are, the veins of my arms are popping. I'm ripping the wheel and the bus won't slow down enough. Short of doing an emergency stop. Awful vehicles. Again, oi oi, E34 5 Series. Um, yeah, the fit and finish on them was terrible, but comfy bits for passengers, USBs, all that business. Got you, my man. Nice. Um, yeah, their motors were terrible. Um, Acceleration was poor. Brakes were terrible. Gearbox didn't want to kick down often. Just, oh, Jesus. Hateful things. See, why did she need that instruction? Like, I'm not reversing. I've got a couple hundred yards to go. Why could you not have worked that out? They just come up. Ugh. I don't know. Someone just shrugged their shoulders. So I shrugged mine back. Stuck the handbrake on. Country lane. Driveways either side of their car doors. You only need to go back at 20 feet. Well, no, I've got two cars behind me. They'll follow me into this space. And it's about 100 feet. You'll be really unhelpful, you are. What are you talking about? You've got a driveway each side. Why are you not using them? I can't. Christ almighty. Oh. Handsome dog. Is also ah, being Essex, we were in Chelmsford. We also ran the uh, X30, which was an airport express shuttle um, from Chelmsford South End, South End Chelmsford Stansted Airport. Uh, the mainstay of that fleet initially were Volvos, not sure the models. Uh, 53 seat vehicles, don't put the right hand down because you're not coming this way. There we go. Yeah, 53 seaters. I think only one or two had toilets. We will be doing a left, Daniel. Yes. Um, the other geezer. Ah, we'll press on. What's stuff to do? 
We're going to have to work it out. We're going to have to work it out. Oh, it's only left anyway, how fortunate. Yeah, um, 53 seat vehicles, very unreliable, shonky, shonky, shonky. For some reason, the depot also bought two Scania's, Irizars, um, two 3019, two 3020. Ferociously unreliable, thousands were spent on air conditioning and gearbox and engine troubles. They barely saw a couple of weeks on the road at a time before being taken off again. I drove both types of coaches briefly. Uh, coach work, much more comfortable than the bus. It's like driving a truck compared to a van in that the accruements and the comfort is much better. Whereas a bus or a van is a tool, a coach or a, say for instance, articulated lorry cab unit, much more comfortable. So coach work, uh, I've got to say, I've only driven a coach from Chelmsford, Stansted Airport and back a couple of times. Never did the South End leg. Um, so I can't comment on what that bit is like. But as a vehicle, coach driving, yeah, I, yeah, nice, could do it. But the hours and I'd want to be home every night, which means you're doing schoolwork. So, oh, I don't know, man. Uh, yeah, the coach, they were pretty universally unreliable. So then I'm sure Stansted Airport then funded the purchase of some buses. Them new modern ALX 200s I mentioned earlier, long wheelbase versions of them with um, luggage racks and what have you. Morons. Don't know what they're beeping about. It's not as if we're, much the words I said in my video yesterday, it's not as if we're sodding about on a Jolly Boys outing. I'm clearly doing something here. Oh, please test me. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I'll get that one as well. I'll bung that in here. We'll come back to that. I don't know why he's sitting there, because now my loaders won't be able to get past with their bins. That's all right, I'll make no uh, rush to get out of his way then. Cuts both ways. Cool, so I put this sack back. They can wait. Again, these people live around here, so I'm doing your bins, your recycling. Stop your moaning. So I'll roll it forwards, let mate empty his bin. They'll work it out. They'll have to. Would you like a bin? Yeah, I'll talk about that. Would you like one? Yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. Uh, buses, coaches, what else? Good, we're all clear behind. Yeah, good. All right, we're zooming. Yes, uh, coaches, bus. I think that covers the fleet of the buses that we used to drive. Good amount of space to do a reserve. Oh, for fuck's sake. Huh. Well, he's blocking anyway, so we'll, we'll walk about, we'll do this stuff here, let him exit, and then we'll continue. So clearly, you can get in if he's in there. Morning. Excuse me. 
morning. So I'll go back, let them have a bit more of a space to play with. So I imagine swing and all that's not going to be great. See, look, this is a third person perspective of nonsense I'm having to deal with every day. Look at that. Jesus. Good heavens. So quickly help mate get his stuff on. And then, uh, yeah. Emptying. Hop, 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 ah. Right. So this would be better if it was approached from that perspective. Oh, no, sorry, coming down here, reversing in, but hey, I don't get to dictate where we go, so I have to reverse in from here. So car there, car and truck there. So, I do. Forward, forward, forward. Work all the way forward you can. Gives you more room to operate in the back. So hopefully we can do this in one hit, but if not it's two, there's no shame in taking the shunt. There is a pop, a phrase amongst the uh, HGV community, don't be a, a fool, take a shunt. Substit substitute fool with a word that rhymes with shunt. And you get the idea. So look, full lock on now. It's appearing in my camera. Checking the near side mirror. So, we'll go forwards a bit, it's not worth the risk. So forwards, get near this motor, wrap the lock on, dry steering's not great, especially don't do it in your car, but man, situation dictates I need to. Again, well within 10 meters of junction, well within 10 meters of a junction, people just don't, don't care, I ain't got a driveway, I need to park outside my house. So what if a fire engine tried to come in? Or you wanted to get something delivered and you couldn't get in? People just don't think. Falls. So mate, he's making progress. Looks like he's full, so I'll stop the vehicle near him and let him load his stuff up. So a bit more, a bit more. Thumb up to acknowledge. Handbrake neutral, let him do his thing. Uh, someone commented on why do I put the handbrake on every time Bingo's on. If something goes wrong, medically, mechanically, whatever, that vehicle is not moving. If this vehicle started to roll, because I remember that uh, Glasgow bin lorry crash. George Clark, Gary Clark, it was something Clark with an E. A former bus driver who blacked out the wheel previously, who had medical issues, lied to the DVLA and uh, then was in charge of a bin lorry that killed, was it six people and injured about 10, 15 others in Glasgow? Terrible loss, a real unnecessary. You're just there, Daniel, it's just that one. Real unnecessary waste of life, all because a vehicle went out of control. Now, the loaders in the inquest said they didn't know how to stop the vehicle. Well, you reach over and yank up the handbrake, but they said they were not in a position to do so, and the vehicle was at full throttle, unattended for some seconds. Uh, had someone reached over and yanked that handbrake up, those poor dearly departed would still be with us now. So that's why, oh my good God, I have to carry it manually. Yeah, that is why I put the handbrake on every time I bring the vehicle to a halt. Come on, will it fit? Kind of, not great. Uh, I'll walk this, then I'll come back for the bin itself. Come on. No, I'm dropping stuff now. So I'll bung it in yours, my man. It's going to the back of the vehicle anyway. Oh, Jesus. All right, let's go, go, go. Mind your face. Give it a bang. Definitely empty. Hopper check, hopper check. Good, right, so we need to exit now. So, when number five bin is, grab the pavement, swing it right, mind in the wall. Ooh. Yeah. 
no, not on my side it ain't. I don't mind doing it on camera that it's wrong. So go back, take a shunt. So I'm not gonna rip a wall out for this shit box of a motor. So, uh, well previous mate you managed to do it and I'm normally a bit more professional than him, so. Right, I'll go in the road a bit. There we go. Wrap the lock on, watching the mirrors, watching the cameras. And one shunt would have been better but yeah. it was like that from the oh, wall yeah. um i'm not smashing motors i don't care if someone else did it in one hit that was their good fortune um yeah it's not worth the risk man not worth it and as to you viewers at home again there's nothing wrong not everything must be attempted and successfully completed the first time there is no problem admitting that you've made a mistake and readjust that vehicle's position because you get many chances to do things correctly wants to do it wrong you could do any task at workplace thousands of times day in day out years on end and with complacency arrogance impatience or anger you rush you do it wrong people get hurt stuff gets damaged vehicles get destroyed people's property gets smashed up for what a few seconds again i don't profess to be a perfect driver i do what i can as often as i can to uh aid my colleagues keep it safe on the roads for other road users and anticipate other people's stupidity however if that means i've got to re-attempt a uh maneuver just so, as simple as going to 90 degrees around a the corner then fine that's not a problem with me i don't mind i'm i'm humble enough and i have the humility to admit i don't get it right first time every time that's all glass there um yeah i don't mind admitting that it's not a problem with me but some people are so brash and bravado and look at me, jack the lad, I can do what I, whatever, whenever, look at me how powerful and special I am. It means nothing. It's more valuable to me to see someone else and myself admit their limitations or if they've made mistakes and rectify it. Judge me not by my successes, but how I re remedy my mistakes. misfortune to work here before. <laughs> Blimey, driver's getting out. Must be busy. But, um, yeah. No else to say, really. I'm sure things will come to mind shortly. So, yes. I should have said this at the start. 1,000 subscribers. Hooray! Thank you all. Sincerely. For, uh, clicking that red button uh, clearly I must be doing something you enjoy be it the commentary the visuals the uh, matter of fact view of things but no thank you for your subscribership and continued viewing um, my man what's it dude do what you gotta do all I have to do is fuck all. <laughs> yeah. well, we won't get very far then shall we yeah, so thank you for your continued viewership, clicks, subscribe, shares, however it is you came to these videos. And indeed, if you're sending them to your friends, compatriots, other uh, waste management fans, I suspect a great deal of you have come across this channel as a result of looking up something to do with bins, waste, recycling, what have you. Thank you. It is appreciated. Um, good um, self-esteem check got to check on the morale and uh, well in a broad sense mental health but that's just a, a thumbs up and a are you all right like, I'm not offering to sit down and counsel these people not that I'm remotely qualified to but just a chat and like are you okay what's going on this is good good um, yeah so if they had problem well, So I'll fill his bin up because I ain't got enough. Uh, I could take these bigger, big ones back. We'll help fill his up and then I'll take these big fellas. Yes, um, 
Go look after each other. Have that conversation. And always ask again. Are you okay? Yeah. Ask again. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. You're very welcome, my guy. Help me to help you. This is, this is a wallet against the uh, hack of your credit card details. Yeah, yeah, like that. Yeah. R oh, RFID. Your, one, your, one, your one's a Yeah. It was a present is what it was. It was a present. I was dismissive initially, but after a week or two. You really like where you got to Yeah, it. you don't need cash. It's nonsense. No, hey, cash is out of cash. Absolutely. 2022. Of Keep up. Yeah. <laughs> Bureau de change of my pocket. I will take you. I'll do the big boxes. You do yeah. sacks. Yeah, yeah. I said this on the walk over. You can watch later and check. Oh, okay. Yeah. Quadruple check. You can quadruple check. Um, Yes, help those around you. There's far too much negativity, anger, vitriol, hatred. Just ugh, hor horrible people about with bad attitudes. Whoa, nearly lost it then. Um, so yeah, do ask those whew, around you if they're okay. Even if it is just someone, in the, I say, if you're a younger person, if you're in a classroom or on a playground, have that conversation because you can't hold that stuff inside. You've got to share. Sharing is caring. Ooh, um, say family members, colleagues, even take the time. I'm not asking you to sit. Oh, come on. Uh, mm -hmm. We'll chuck it in this gap here then. Unless, has he left me enough room to get round? No. So we'll chuck it in this gap. Mine in the corner. Oh, don't tell me you're turning left. Right, okay, what I'll do is I'll nose it in here, leaving him enough room to, uh... Oh, for fuck's sake. I wouldn't have done that if I'd only been chucking it in there. Let's have a look, see. Right, let's get out of this gap then. So, reverse, full lock on. There's a bin, there's a fence. Mind the mirrors, mind the cameras. Again, it's just the opposite of what I've just done to get in here, but always check in, gently, gently. Take your time. No bin or delivery is that important to warrant rushing around where we're in it can uh, potentially injure people this stuff really does not matter so i'll grab the pavement because that truck is a bit in my side cool cool naturally of course we've got to turn right have a look at the space oh that's i can work with that so bang the lock on clear the vehicle got loaders of plenty there we go a bit more bit more there we go so go a bit more throttle Give them space to do their work. I'll chuck it here, because that's a lot of mess. I'm gonna sneeze in a second. <laughs> there we go. Um, I'll pick this up. I don't have to, it's not my problem. But by not doing anything, I'm as bad as the person who dumped it there, or allowed it to end up there. There we go. Your bin's my guy. Yeah. Uh, spend so much time and effort to squeeze the fucking box. Yes. Oh boy. Yes. Where did you Well, because they don't know they're allowed to leave it on the side plane, yeah, presumably. Yeah, you're right. I think they must get it. If, if it's not in a bag, it don't get taken. Yep. Oh. No. Oh, I, said, I, I keep saying it myself, there's no rush, but when I'm holding other people up, there's a pressure. Gotta keep moving. Pleasure. Right, yes. Driving, yes? Yes, yeah, so. Uh, talking to people, that conversation. Are you okay? What's going on? Please share. Do not feel that you have to suffer alone in your uh, upset, heartache. It could be many things. It could be things as bad as bereavement and grief. It could be workplace bullying, uh, low self-esteem. I really hope it's nothing to do with social media and people cyber bullying. I've got no time for that and uh, would give them both barrels. Uh, people are bullies, you're weak. Space don't look too keen. Yeah, people are bully others, you're weak. You're
you're covering up your own inadequacies and own failings and you're taking out on who people who you perceive to be weaker than yourself i put up with that when i was a kid and if any of you watching adults children whatever put up with that now don't suffer in silence do not take that burden alone because that destroys people and it forces people to do a uh, bad thing it doesn't force them it uh, it can lead to them doing well basically them failing them quitting them giving up on their projects all because of someone else no i will not take that come on come on there we go there you go yeah, we're not. Sorry, right, bullying. I've seen as an adult, so I'm 31 now. Since my 20s, I've seen people try to bully others in the workplace. Bang! I bark. I will have you by the genitals. I'm not suffering that. I'm not watching it. I won't allow it to happen. No way. I wish I was this, uh, this constitution slash strength in my younger years, because perhaps I wouldn't have been picked on. But I was meek and mild then. But now, mm -mm. will not take it. Will not suffer it. I say, will not bear witness to it. I will call you out and I will give you both barrels if the person can't do it for themselves. Will not have it. No, no! It's not on. It's not right. But yeah, if it is social media. Oh, yeah, oh yeah I remember this. Last time I was a van on the corner I had to get a right old palaver to get around here. Yes, if it is social media, people cyberbullying or negative trolling and text and all that, delete them, block them, filter it, or get off it man it's toxic um granted this is a method of social media um <laughs> i will freely admit i do have a youtube addiction every evening banging on the videos got my headphones in the old uh, galaxy buds every dog walk i've got something in my ears a documentary or some bit of history or something mechanical engineering stuff natural disaster plainly difficult that's a good channel Hubnut, Ian, he's good. Uh, regular car reviews, the uh, guy from Pennsylvania, he's a funny fella. Uh, Russell Brand, I've recently joined to that channel. Very, very, uh, well, I'd like to be well informed and well presented. He would say himself, Ooh, don't get your facts all from one source. But no, that channel, so these videos, so they're over 15 minute little um, pastiches of current affairs problems, so COVID, governments corporations uh, religious stuff or it can be like the hour-long interview i saw of him with uh, darren brown i do like darren brown i've always had a time for that geezer i've seen him live i saw the uh, miracle show Woo! uh south end cliffs pavilion a couple of years ago yeah darren brown got a lot of time for him very good showman very enjoyable he's got a good uh, stage presence and charisma i would like to meet that man uh what other channels what other channels what else do I watch? Uh, there's one I subscribed to a bit recently, Mentor Pilot, M-E-N-T-O-U-R, Mentor, Peter, Piotr, something like that. Um, analyzes air crash incidents uh, throughout the 20th century. Good channel. Can't get jolly warm. Uh, Harry's Garage, the guy that used to, uh, he might still be, I believe, editor of uh, Evo magazine, Harry's Garage. Some very good road trips on there. I'm trying to think what else do I subscribe to? Uh, there's some other channels. I'm oh, sorry if I've missed you out, but they're like the mainstays. These are the one. Oh, Furious Driving, I like him as well. Um, guy with the glasses that reviews like mundane, normal cars, and then sometimes buys them and fixes them up. No, I, I insist. Yeah, Furious Driving. Terry, sorry, old man, I can't remember your name. But yeah, yeah, that's a good channel. I treat you like a human being. Yeah, How man. I would want to be treated. Like a fucking Eastern European, man. Not at all. Block, man. <laughs> Not at all. Yeah, I'm only Comrade. Come on, mate. I'm only fucking taking a face, No such thing. Do you want a phone case? Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll take it. Oh, uh, yeah. It's, got, it's gone now. We'll get it. It's in there somewhere. Mind your hands. I'll turn the auto off. It's some sort of gel case thing. iPhone, I reckon. Yes, it's access. Bang. Uh, no, Apple, uh, Samsung only, my man. Oh, okay. Yeah, plus. Whoa. So, yes, yeah, so I spend far too much time with YouTube of an evening. I say every dog walk I go on, about 40 odd minutes long, 40 minutes to an hour, the old King the Greyhound, 
He's on Instagram if you want to look him up. King underscore the underscore Greyhound. Very special boy, Brindle fella. Woo! Yeah, every time I go on a dog walk with him, bung the earphones in and basically just zone out for a while. Think for yourself. Where, sorry? That's what he Jump said. On Jump on! Jump on! Come on! He don't, no. We've done that. Where's young Dan? Dan, you're on Yeah, YouTube is a right old time sponge. Uh, I do freely admit I've got an addiction to it. I watch way too much of it each week. But no matter what you're doing, beep, you go, oh, zip ties, bias plies, the Canadian guy that has all the uh, old wrecker motors and pickups and heavy haulage stuff. He's a funny fella. Zip ties, bias plies. Very funny channel. Um, yeah, don't accept trolling. Don't accept bullying in any form. Harassment. Report it. Block it. Ignore it. Are you doing all right, time wise? Yeah, yeah, more. Woo! Look all right? Yep, so right. About 96% now, thank you very much, my man. You are very welcome. It's always freely available. <laughs> clear my way, clear, clear, clear. Cool, cool, cool. Michelle, she's in the shit. Yeah, I feel so sorry for her, for fuck's sake. Yeah. What, being dumped on that? Yeah, yeah. without Adam. Adam, yeah. Okay, she does that thing now. Today, she's doing like more 90%. I mean, like, I don't know if you try, but like, well, yeah, yeah. probably feeling sorry for her as well. Not spit Oh, lovely box. Chelmsford. Yeah. Chelmsford. If anything's unusual or upset, she was incorrect. Oh, yeah. Chelmsford. Chelmsford. Straight down? Yes. So that's a name. Everywhere you go, always think of where Everywhere you go. So, found two. Old school, but we here don't. we do a left reverse. Yes, now. there's a block of flats yeah. in there. Well, we we don't do the flats. Up to the we gate. Just do the right. That's not been done yet. It's the reason why I'm knocking it off auto every time. If you get too close to it, even as a human being standing there, it will take you up. So, not happening with me. Ain't that silly? Either stand far enough I can lean over, still a bit naughty, or, uh. excuse me, press the green button and uh, knock it off. Whew. Right, I'll stop just ahead of 80 so he can chuck his big box in, but I'll let him keep loading his uh, sack of sackaroos. So you want to do the box? Do you want to do a bin as well? He is welcome to do a bin. Turn the indicator off. See so yeah, a reverse down about where that van is, I believe. Um, bit different from when I was last time. No, these flats were all here last time. I thought it was just that building, but no, that has been here as well for a similar amount of time. So drive right, reverse left. So fog, hazards on. So check, check, check in, check the swing. No one coming down, bicycles, cyclists, or motor vehicles. So grab a bit of curb on account of these cars being parked too close to junction. A very boring and familiar song today. Reverse, mirror, mirror, camera. Foot is covering the brake. We're doing a dizzying three miles an hour. Let it roll a bit faster. Van is approaching. So we'll grab this opposite curb to enable him to go up the inside. So a bit more. Swing the left lock on. There we go. So you don't need to mount the pavement. Keep your wheel straight, plenty of space. 
So it's about three, four mile now, just covering the brake constantly. My foot is on the pedal, fluctuating the pressure to try and maintain a constant speed, but well within control. So I believe it's gonna be around here somewhere. About here, because I saw the young fella coming here, but I'm not sure just how far. So we'll roll forwards in that case. There we go. So young mate, he can uh, get his bin on. Handbrake neutral, yada, yada, yada. Blah, blah, blah. He's filling up his bins this bit. Mate, he's nearly done his bin. Cool, cool. Treat myself to a slurp, because I've been talking way too much nonsense about a drink. 